from family events to volunteer opportunities to community happenings, there is a lot going on in your community. Learn about all the possibilities and opportunities on this episode of Community Hotline. Welcome to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel and we're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. Tonight our first guest is the Soroptimus International, specifically the Lake Oswego and West Lynn Club. And representing Soroptimus is Pamela Banning, the club secretary. Welcome, Hi. Pamela. Thank you. And Tara Lawrence, the public uh, awareness committee member. Thank you. Thanks for being here. So maybe you can tell me to start out. I, I, I'm familiar with Soroptimus because we do some work with them here in the Gresham area when we um, we taped the teddy bear parade, and, and I've talked with a lot of Soroptimus about some of the great work they do, specifically for and about women. Is that right? Tell me if you could, one of you, what um, maybe a little bit about the, the mission itself of the Soroptimus. Sure. Our mission is to improve the lives of women and children through raising public awareness and resources centered around the issues of child abuse, sex trafficking, and domestic violence. Mm, all areas that are really a lot in the news lately too. Most definitely. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so as, as when you focus on the women, this is not just locally, this is all over the world, is it not? That's correct. Yeah. That's correct, yes. There are um, many uh, organizations, many members, there's um, thousands, tens of thousands of members wow. um, in different clubs. Uh, and, in, across the world, um, and there's maybe about seven or eight clubs just here in the Willamette Valley. Oh wow, that's quite right. a few. Mm -hmm. About how long has it, have the Sroptimus been an organization? Do you know that? Since the actual 20s, 1920s. Oh wow. Well, I don't remember that. Right. So, <laughs> so um, what exactly do you do in, in, as far as an organization? I mean, you have certain events and programs. Uh, do you meet on a regular basis? What What do you do? So we um, we do meet on a regular basis, and we have in our strategic plan for particular areas. So we have programs of which Tara can talk about the different things that we'll do with the community to mm -hmm. raise public awareness about the issues that are at hand. Um, and then we have a separate set of uh, information for the members. Um, as personal development can also oh. can be something that can take place within the club, as well as wearing, raising their awareness and helping work towards their passions. Oh, that's um, right. So. And then we have fundraising. I mean, the, this wouldn't be sustainable if we, uh, if we didn't have a way of uh, collecting money, so we would like to talk about some of our fundraising events. And then um, in April, early April, we'll actually have an awards ceremony where we're distributing the fruits of all of our labors oh, from 2012. Wonderful. That, really that's great. like the culmination it of is. all your hard work. Um, I think we have a few pictures of some of the meetings and kind of give us an idea of the sort of the demographic of, the, of, the, of your organization. You have all sorts of women from all walks of life, is that right? What, we what really can, do. What can you tell me about your, say your club specifically? It's like us, we go Westland. Is it, is it a diverse group of people? Is it, it is pretty diverse. We have both um, actively employed people, currently unemployed people, retired people. Uh, we have women who are uh, bankers, professional bankers. Mm -hmm. We have attorneys. And what are we, um, what are we looking analysts. at here? Is this a group of some oh, of those Oh, sure. Women? So we're at Bullseye Coffee down in West Lynn. Okay. Uh, and this is one of our induction ceremonies where we were bringing new members into the club. Oh, nice and relaxed and informal. It looks like yes. fun. It looks like fun. So it, it, you know, for all the different types of people and professions, there's something that's happened in our own lives that gives us a passion in wanting to reach out and help other women, and that is that common thread. Um, that j just ties us together. Yeah, that's right. great. And is this one of your meetings? Yes, this is one of our general meetings. Uh, Pacific West Bank on 10th Street in mm -hmm. Lake in West Lynn uh, offers their community room for us uh, free of charge. Um, and so we'll, we'll meet the first Wednesday of each month there. This photo is uh, the induction of the chapter. We're only three years old. Oh, so you're a new one. Yeah. So we're pretty new, right. Now, does every chapter have their own focus, or do you all pretty much have the same four areas that you work on all the different chapters? I'll, I'll answer that. We actually have three focus, we've selected three focus areas, and they are for to focus on child abuse, mm -hmm. the trafficking. sex trafficking, mm -hmm. not human trafficking, but sex trafficking and domestic violence. Okay, okay. So, 
tell me, how, how do you go about doing that? I mean, that, those are really broad areas. Um, and what can you do to make a difference? I, obviously, it's, it's a lot of public education, raising awareness. How do you go about doing that? With regard to our public awareness, we've created these panel discussions that have been really quite successful. And what we've done is we would publicize the event and mm -hmm. we would invite the experts within the field mm -hmm. of these three areas. So we'd pick a subject matter and mm -hmm. then we would invite, say, a panel, usually somewhere around four or five panelists. And they'd be members from, say, the Clackamas County DA's office, Clackamas okay. County Sheriff's office. People Depart that are right in the right in the right in of the things, thick yeah. of it, mm -hmm. right? Members of DHS, the Department of Human Services, CASA members, court-appointed special mm -hmm, advocates, mm -hmm. and then also we'd have some members that are of some nonprofit organizations that are there. So collectively coming together to share resources, ideas, and information. Now, when you have those, are those open to the public, or are those just for the uh, seroptimus? Those are open to the public. Okay. We encourage public okay. the okay. public to come and to okay. attend. Good. So you're sponsoring the, the event. You're putting it on for the public. Absolutely. And we hope to incre yeah. increase our membership by holding these events Good. and increase the public awareness. But we'd love to recruit new members, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you said something, Pamela, about uh, everybody has their own passion. And, and I think a lot of that comes from whatever has gone on in your own life or what you've heard about, maybe a neighbor or somebody you know who maybe has been the victim of domestic violence, or they grew up next door to somebody who you know abused their child, or you know whatever. You there's always you know everybody has a little story to tell. Mm -hmm. Do, um, wh what kinds of things have, have motivated you to become part of Seroptimus? You don't have to tell me great personal stories, but what what motivates you to to do this? I tend to be a bit of a giver anyway, so I love to volunteer. I love education type events. I love working with children, mm. and um, I really like the feeling in my heart that comes about at the end of one of the board meetings when we have decided we're going to be distributing over $4,000 in money to people who don't even know it yet. Wow. They're at the same time that we're working on the fundraising, the awards committee is out uh, soliciting the uh, uh, applications from uh, we have two main awards. The Violet Richardson Award is for high school girls who are active in volunteering in their community. Oh, and right. then also for the Women's Opportunity Award, which is for uh, f uh, women who are the single uh, wage earners within their families and they're, they're looking to make a better impact on their on their lives by having a higher education. Oh, so the money goes toward their education. The money goes to financial resources towards their education. So how do you find these women? That, uh, do they apply for these positions? Are they nominated? How does that work? It's, it's all through applications. Okay. Um, and so we try to uh, bang the drum as loud as we can. That's why we're so mm -hmm. grateful to Metro East for Good. allowing us to have a few minutes tonight to talk about this because um, when you can uh, reach out to the community either through sponsorship with the events or maybe they have a place where we can show a, v a DVD mm -hmm. about one of our areas of focus um, or we can have a panel discussion there. It's that interaction, and you never know who's in the room that needs to hear what's right, being said right. tonight. It might be so somebody personally, or do, they know somebody. Exactly. Right. All we want to do is put the platform out there and be what it what it is, come what may. The, um, the people that need to hear it will hear it eventually. Good, so. good. So tell me about this, uh, this event where you um, actually give the awards. What, how does that work? So the New Beginnings uh, Award Ceremony is going to be on April 10th, so okay. just in a couple of weeks. Yes. It's on a Wednesday evening, and it's going to be held down at the Holy Names Heritage Center, which is a beautiful it building on the Merrillhurst Merrill campus Hurst. Mm -hmm. down in Lake Oswego. Uh, and during that evening, we have um, many people invited, but the public is also invited to, to come as well. Um, and the, like I said, the Violet Richardson Award winner will be named. Um, that's a, that's a that's young girl. That's the high school, high school girl, girl, right? She's been very active in her community. She has been uh, volunteering on several different levels with Red Cross youth, with arts for the underprivileged children. So you're children. talking about the person that's going to get it that's this year. That's actually going to get ah. the award this year. And now, year. Do they, does she know? Yes, she yes, does. She does. Okay. Yes, she does. So tell me again what, what, she, what she does. She volunteers with the Red Cross and she, what else? She formed um, a, a Red Cross youth chapter with, uh, near her high school. Um, and she actually had several other events that are escaping me at the moment, but the one that she's most proud of is she was cr creating an art program for underprivileged youth to oh, allow right. them to express themselves. Wow. Right. Wow. So what, what 
is it the intention of the award? What um, besides honoring that person, is there is there a monetary portion? There to is it? a monetary portion to it at the club level, and then she will go on. Her application will go on to the regional level, and then on to the district or, and on to the national level. So there's an app. There's um, so, so like, a greater like a capability for some kind of? rolling type. I, ha I hate to think of it as a competition, but in the end, there are only several finalists, right? Right. right? right. So, so essentially, yes. it is, but it's based on all right. good work, so nobody's really a loser. Mm -hmm. The well women's yeah. the women's opportunity award um, also has that capability of where there'll be a monitor monetary gift for that woman, mm -hmm. and then her application goes on to the regional and the national level as well. Um, and then we also are distributing awards to six different organizations uh, in the area uh -oh. that it provided for information. So um, Family Life Skills of Oregon okay. is receiving tuition for two women. Youth Villages of Oregon is receiving money for clothing for children that mm. are, have been admitted to their sexually exploited children's program. Oh, wow. Uh, Clackamas County Victims Assistance Department is receiving some money for emergency clothing and um, toiletry kits. Uh, the Children's Center, as well as um, Healthy Start and Healthy Families of Clackamas County. And then finally, the layup program for the Westland Food Bank. Wow, that's a lot. Of, that, that's a lot, a lot to cover. To, you know, to, to spend the year planning on the programs, planning on the fundraising, and, and then you don't know what the dollar amount's going to be, but people come forward with their applications. And, and I guess part of this... Uh, show as well would be to let people know that come 2013, 2014, 2015, this club wants to help the communities. So if, if there's an organization out there that uh, needs some assistance or um, somebody, is it just organizations get it, or if there's somebody who is a youth who has done a lot in the community, they, they can apply, apply themselves for this award? Right. Is that right? Yes. Or the women that are trying to better themselves That's and right. further their education. That's right. So typically in the fall, we'll have the call for uh, applicants to come out. And we're trying to feel uh, how's the best way to get the mm -hmm. word out. Yeah. Each yeah. of the clubs in the area, each of the clubs around the world are in that same time period are also soliciting for applications for right. their awards. So sometimes if there's more applications than money available in one club, there can be some sharing of the applications oh, so great. that um, we can continue to pass it on. Stuff. It, it is, does amazing things. Great. Absolutely. It? That's great. So um, if, if people are interested in any one of those, um, the website is probably the best place to go, would you, would you say? Probably at this point, so we're so new that email would probably okay. be the best to go okay. at the moment. Yeah, we are working on the website. Good, but, um, good. Yeah, the email, get in touch with us directly. Uh, anyone who wants to be a member, be a club member, is more than welcome to come and visit the, the general meeting um, or so call So if somebody talk. were interested, they could just maybe call you up and say, I'd like to come to your next Absolutely. meeting and sit in and check it out and, and, yes. uh, and go from there. Right. I bet you have a lot of great women there that are, I bet you become friends. Absolutely. <laughs> Even the ones that aren't originally, am I right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You meet great friends. Women mm -hmm. like-minded. Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. sharing their passion, like you said, right, people right. coming for a variety of reasons, but bringing together their knowledge and experience and their passion and right. commitment. How do you choose the organizations that you choose to help? I mean, how, that, it seems like that would be a really difficult decision, as well as the woman, you know, the entrepreneur, or the or the person needs to, you know, further their education and the the Violet Rich, is it Richards or Richardson? Richardson. Award, Richardson Award. Right. How do you make those decisions? That'd be very difficult. It, it is very difficult. Yeah. Um, as uh, any of the members can tell you, they probably they volunteer for a number of committees, and the mm -hmm. awards committee is one that gets to uh, do the solicitation for the applications, and but then also makes the proposal to the board of where how the money should be distributed. Yeah. I bet it's very rewarding, though, especially when the people get those awards. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot, of, a lot of happy faces, I'm sure. <laughs> right. So you have. Um, something else going on you said you have the harvest what is the, harvest the harvest festival will be festival. in september okay that so that's is a little ways main, away but a, that's oh, a big deal please right please save the date okay. because we just have a wonderful time out at lee's farms in tualatin oh, uh, it okay. starts at two o'clock in the afternoon on saturday september 21st okay and during that day uh, we just encourage all the families to come out there is a, a country western band, so there's line dancing. There's all oh, the fun. fun things to do at Lee's Farms, all the children's and games. September is usually gr a great it's month. That's right. a great yeah. month. It's yeah. great. It's and then we have. My birthday, a, everybody make a We have. Yeah. A, <laughs> for sure. Save that day. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Right. 
<laughs> we assemble raffle baskets. So we, um, in the recent months or recent years, we've done um, different animal themes. So we had a frog basket, a cow oh, basket, cute. a horse basket, and we had raffling going off on that. The kids were in love with the cakewalk, though. Oh yeah, an old-fashioned cakewalk. An old-fashioned cakewalk. They were walking away with so many goodies and oh, just coming cute. right back around. As soon as one cakewalk was over, they'd run back in line and stand there oh, and wait for the so next cute. one to that's start. Great. So, I remember a lot those. of fun. <laughs> um, I think we have some pictures from the harvest festival from last year, probably or, or mm -hmm. past year. So right, is, this is one right. Of them, right. So in that main barn there at Lee Farms, we have um, a couple of tables of information, of course, because you never know who is in the audience that might need some assistance of different help. So there's referral sources there, as well as since it is our fundraising time, um, there's raffle tickets for oh, sale good, there. Good. And, and hey, that, and then we you can. adore the sponsors. Um, they have a great time. The sponsors are each awarded tickets, um, and if they can't come, they donate the tickets back. And we reach out to, for instance, this last time we reached out to the military assistance oh. office and for said, "Please have your families and, come yeah, and enjoy great. the day on us." That's wonderful. So um, <laughs> we are so motivated and enthusiastic, as you can see <laughs> can from see our members. Um, it's it's a lot of planning for the day. It's an excellent day for the execution, and then at the evening, you're exhausted, but you can hardly wait for the next meeting to find out how it went. That's great. It looks like you have a lot of fun, so that's the important <laughs> thing, right? For ladies. Yeah. Right. So Are here we have a, a winner of one of the baskets yeah. a and a basket. winner of the, of the cakewalk and then one of the frog basket there is on the right. That's so cute. So. That looks like many, many fun. laughs. It's fun. Then here's oh, the cakewalk. Cake right. Yeah. So we have young and young at heart people as well will um, walk the cakewalk. Um, and just sit on the hay bales, and it takes a little bit. You know, if they haven't seen it before, it takes a little bit of uh, training there on to get them to understand you know, how only that all one works. One person per bale, but um, <laughs> it's a lot of fun, and they soon, very soon, get the hang of it. And uh, actually, get, just get dizzy walking around in yeah, circles. I can imagine. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, so pumpkins. lots of lots of laughter, and then a lot of creativity goes in That's to the, the decorations. Uh, that is logo. our Seraphimus lo logo there, yeah. right, carved into the pumpkin. That's good. That's good. So oh, that looks like a fun event. That looks great. Thank you. Yeah. So have you done this, is this the second year you've done it or the? We are now year? closing three years. So you yes. have done this every year. Yes, we've done this it each year. This is your signature event. We, it is our yes. signature event. We also, shortly on the heels of that, we'll do a, um, a, a wreath sale. Oh, wreath okay. and holiday basket sale. Okay. Um, it's to a smaller level at the moment, but um, it, again, it just adds to that general fund that allows yeah. us to um, to, to support the, awards, the organizations right? and the, and the mm -hmm. programs that you want mm -hmm. to. What, um, what do you need as far as volunteers? Are people, you need people to come and be part of, of Seroptimus, women that are interested. It's women. It can be it, men as well. Can be? Okay, yes. that's a good thing to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anybody that has a passion for um, to helping women, empowering women, and mm -hmm. I love it that you're working with the youth and bringing them up that way because Absolutely. you, know, you got to start there. Right. So uh, obviously you're encouraging people to join or to become part of it. Um, what about organizations that might want to help out the Seroptimus toward toward these goals that you're that you've set for these specific programs? That'd be outstanding. Yeah. I think that really in this market and the economy, it really takes a lot of creativity among organizations mm -hmm. and nonprofits. So collaboration with different organizations with Seroptimus is certainly ideal. And you're really seeing that across across the it's nation. It's not the only way to do it anymore. It really yeah, is. Especially when the recession started, these nonprofits started working together. And right. It's, they've done amazing things. Right, mm -hmm. to co-sponsor and pay right. for the coffee and donuts together right. and then bring a crowd, yeah. yeah. Instead of competing against each other, work right. together, you can accomplish a whole lot yeah, more. Yeah, I That's think collaboration cool. is key. And yeah. we've really been leveraging good collaboration. And the Clackamas County and Lake Oswego areas have been wonderful. The, the experts and professionals coming out and lending their expertise. Wow. Okay, so domestic violence, uh, child abuse, and sex trafficking are the three areas that you're most focused on. So if there right. are women or men out there that are interested in, in you know, working on those causes, this would be a good place for them to, to get involved. Very good. Yeah. Very yeah. welcome place for them. Before we're out of time, tell me anything else. What else do I need to know about Seroptimus International? Oh. Yeah, we had time. talked about well, that we come from all different walks of life. We all have different professions. Yeah. I'm, I'm an attorney. You used to be a district attorney. Uh -huh. Pam is in the. I'm in the medical records division. Uh -huh. I'm with uh, just a, a data analyst for 3M. Um, we talked about some of the other professions. Mm -hmm. It's. Um, 
So Quite a, a diverse cross. group. It is a very diverse that's great, group. That's great. But then you get to know each other and you're all the, right. we're all, we're all the same in here. So that's great. Yeah. Absolutely. Good. Well, thank you so much, both of you, for being here tonight. I appreciate thank you, it. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Monica. This has been our first episode of Community Hotline. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about the Seroptimus International. Specifically, this is the Lake Oswego and West Lynn Club. They're doing terrific work in the area. So if these things that we've talked about tonight are part of your passion or you want to get involved, please do contact them. You can go to one of their meetings. You can find out more on their website. And they have events coming up that you don't want to miss, so be sure to check that out. I'm Monica Weitzel, and we'll be back in just a few moments, so stay tuned.